Lesson 3.3 Continuous Development of Skills The reskilling process cannot be treated as a tool to were separate and disjoined from the dynamics unfolding in the working world and needs to be addressed in concert with occupational groups to draw from external stimuli for innovation and tap into the wealth of knowledge and skills that we have in order to initiate a real and deep-rooted process of change. In this way, it will not to do propose simple reskilling or refreshes courses or classroom-style training where experts, although qualified in their fields, are tasked with transferring their knowledge and skills to groups of adults willing to learn. Rather, action is necessary in terms of continuous skill development based on rationales and methods that are more consistent with the personal baggage of skills and knowledge that every worker has. As such, action needed to be geared towards supporting the digital transformation in society through the planning and delivery of training initiatives targeted at the workers who need to develop their level of knowledge and skills to stay abreast of changes. More specifically, the training model involves workers through tailor-made programs aimed at the continuous improvement of skills the governmental issue and the implementation of the necessary strategies required to reach the objectives. That means a training project focusing on activating fields of learning and practice, where short classroom style lessons are alternate with structured opportunities to learn from experience and on the job that are opportunities to create forms of situated learning applied to the specific activity areas of enterprises and workers and the use of innovative methods and tools for sharing and cooperation. Such a framework is based on the one hand on the promotion of community of practice which represent an asset for organization constituting flexible forms of cooperation that guarantee adaptability and the capacity to deal with complexity effectively. Communities of practice help foster the necessary process and need for 1. the structuring of new strategy models, 2. the rapid resolution of problems through the common works of organic groups able to quickly identify the resources able to resolve a certain problem. 3. The rapid transfer of experience thanks to the continuous sharing of information. And 4. The ongoing and effective updating of development of skills thanks to circulation and sharing. On the other hand, a more flexible approach to work position and work commitments is guaranteed. Now, there are new forms that characterize life paths that do not develop, as was in the past, according lodging of clear separation between initial times dedicated to the study and the successive phases dedicated to work but involve a structural and non-episodic alternation of work and training activities and in many cases a real continuous mix of work and study. The matter goes well beyond the issue of the digitization of enterprise and technology, addressing the prospect for the development of the entire social system. Thus, given that knowledge and skills constitute fundamental elements not only for works, 
but for community membership itself. It would appear essential to frame the question in policy terms through a continuous skills development plan. Conceived not as an extraordinary action, but with ordinary, regular and full and ongoing funding. That plans should be able to steer and develop the skills of young people and workers to enable an understanding of the major transformation underway and governance of the digital transformation at the world level.